So after two amazing days in Geneva, it was time for us to get on the bus and take this Swiss tour on the road. Incredibly, this country is small enough that this 10-day tour gets us to all the best areas of Switzerland. All we have to do is sit back, relax, and take in the sights. When we park the bus and stop at each location, Insight Tours has already made our arrival plans in advance, so there's no waiting in lines in the hot summer sun. My name is David Carrier. I'm a passionate entrepreneur who founded a business in 2007 with a multi-million dollar exit in 2021. I've been a global sales manager, manufacturer, CEO, private pilot, and now I'm semi-retired. My daughter Stephanie is a former NBA employee turned successful real estate agent. In early 2023, we started Quantum Fly Capital Group, a real estate investment firm specializing in multifamily investments. More than anything, we're here to show you that retirement is not as far away as you think. And we want to help you get there. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos. Our tour began in Geneva in the southwest corner of the country. And the first leg is a leisurely drive around beautiful Lake Geneva. We're going from the west side all the way to the far east side where we will eventually arrive in Montreux. For those of you who may not have heard of the city of Montreux, maybe you're familiar with the 1960s rock anthem, Smoke on the Water by Deep Purple. The casino hotel in the center of the town was the site of the hotel fire that actually inspired the song. Welcome to Montreux, former home of one Freddie Mercury. Oh yeah. Shillong Castle. I know. which bring them even further off. And traveling in our area as well, we have the disadvantage of the mountains. So back then, only one pass open, so only one negotiable axe here with the great San Bernard. And these counts need to be used. They were smart enough to take advantage and to ask for money here. So Xion Castle was built by the tax state. All this traffic has to stop and pay money, either money, coins, or in goods. Huh? So this strategic location 
will make the Savoy household rich and important and certainly allow them to have this beautiful residence here. It's not their only residence, they have many castles in their areas around Lake Geneva and towards the Mediterranean Sea and here it's certainly a temporary residence, it's usually during the warmer summer months. Hmm. This is the dungeon of Chateau de Chillon. It is famous for one of its inhabitants, Francois Bonivard. Bonivard was a nobleman, ecclesiastic, historian, and Geneva patriot at the time of the Republic of Geneva. His life was the inspiration for Lord Byron's 1816 poem, The Prisoner of Chillon. He was a partisan of the Protestant Reformation and rebelled against the Republic and subsequently Charles III, Duke of Savoy, who imprisoned him here. You can still see the marks in the floor where he paced back and forth, his chains dragging behind him. You don't want to miss next time on Quantum Fly. We point the tour bus up the Alpine Valley of Tosh and into Zermatt. We find out who's really in charge. You are the center of attention, Bobby. For the snow, this is all snow and glacier melt. And the way you can tell is you look Good morning. Welcome to Zermatt. <laughs> okay, here we go. And we are awestruck by the majesty of the Matterhorn. I, I didn't think I would be this awestruck by that mountain. 